Good day everyone and welcome back to the 2021 Nestbox series. We see Biddy here starting her day on the 11th after a rough previous day, after losing 4 of her 6 chicks. This was all due primarily to bad weather. But also the male Miley seems to be a little bit inexperienced and doesn't seem to be bringing in just enough food. Now again could be due to the bad weather. But Biddy is able to find food seemingly a lot more readily in this weather than Miley. And that's what we're going to look at today. We see Biddy here trying to feed her two remaining chicks. And you may be wondering why is she hopping from chick to chick like that? Well, it's thought that that is a way of finding out which chick is the hungriest and which may need the food the most. For example, a hungrier chick may gape more and may gape for longer, but also will snatch the food off the motherboard or fatherboard much readily than a chick that has already just or just has been fed. We saw Miley do this at the end of the last video, but then end up failing to actually feed the chicks and ended up eating the food himself. So how does he fare today? Well, that chick seemed to manage to get that little morsel of food off him. But Biddy seems to be the bird that's feeding them the most. And I don't know if this is down to maybe she's just a more experienced mother and able to find this food a little bit more readily than Miley. Or it's not impossible that Miley actually has another nest elsewhere. Now we can never know for sure if that's the case, but it isn't unheard of for male blue tits to have more than one female or servicing one to more female or nest. As I said, it's not the usual behavior, but it does happen on some rare occasions. And in my experience and from what I've seen, it tends to do more damage than good. Their thinking is to get more eggs in more baskets, literally. But I always find that it's two half done jobs rather than one job done very well. And it is worth mentioning again that this is only speculation on my behalf. Miley may just be an inexperienced male and that's why he's not feeding the chicks just as much. And as we can see, Miley hasn't really been in the nest since about roughly just before 10 o'clock. And it is Biddy that has to go out and feed those hungry two chicks. Just look at them gape for food out the side of Biddy. I have to say, it does look quite cute. And again, Biddy had to be the one to go out and find food, and she can seem to find food quite quickly. She left the nest for about five minutes there and was able to come back with a nice morsel of food for one of the chicks. And where is Miley over the last 45 minutes? Well, that is the big question. He does tend to disappear for quite a while. And it's not until 10 minutes later that Miley finally arrives with a small bit of food for the chicks. And that has been just under an hour. And during that time, Biddy had had to get up and feed those chicks three or four times in that time period. And I'm sure at this stage, the chicks, when needed to be kept warm, their digestion and everything that comes with it, is probably working a whole lot better when that chick is kept warm. And on the flip side of that, when cold, I would say them chicks have to burn precious energy in keeping warm and staying alive. But Biddy is never too long off the nest. She does come back and keep her chicks warm. We see Miley back here. A little bit quicker than last time, thankfully. But still a little bit slower than it should be. But thankfully, he does manage to get his food into the chicks. We then see Biddy bring in some more nesting material. Now, I have seen birds over the years bring in some nesting materials here and there. 
but I really find that this age, that energy should have been spent getting some food. It's quite unusual. We see here Biddy hearing Miley on his way in, and she leaves just prior to him arriving. This happens quite a bit. Miley trying to get his chicks to feed. He thankfully manages to get that second chick fed and is rewarded with a fecal sack. And he decides to take that one with him. And we can see Biddy is already back with some food after only just leaving at the start of the sequence. And we then see another fine example of a chick being fed followed by a fecal sack. And it just goes to show that these chicks instinctively know to do this straight after being fed. As that means there's a parent bird there to take it away. And we see Biddy decides to eat that fecal sack. And that right there is why you're subscribed. And thankfully that's how it plays out for the most part of the day. Biddy will leave, Miley will arrive, get some food for the chicks, and again be rewarded with a fecal sack. He tends to take them out more often than not, and Biddy tends to eat them. We see a little bit more behaviour of Miley here that could be deemed a little bit questionable. Biddy is in with some food and trying to feed her chicks and then Miley arrives with some also. He starts off trying to feed the chicks and is initially unsuccessful and he seems to get restless in this situation and then Biddy decides to feed the chick. She's rewarded with a fecal sack and he tends to just leave with the food and does not return with it. Again, some good energy wasted. I really do believe though this is just down to inexperience on Miley's behalf. You can see here he decides to give Biddy the food to feed the chicks. I suppose everyone has to start somewhere. And that's really how that day played out. There seemed to be enough food being brought in, but I dare say only just enough. You can see Miley there having a successful feed with the chick. And by the end of that day you can see that both chicks are still alive thankfully. So what's been happening over at Mark and Mindy's? Well, there's not a lot happening at the moment, but we did have an extra egg laid last night. You can see there, there was seven. And other than Mindy bringing in the odd bit of soft material to make her nest ever softer, there isn't a whole lot going on as she's started incubating the day before. And that is actually her final egg laid, so she is going to start incubating fully now. But there is one egg kind of behind the others, so it'll be interesting to see how that one plays out when the eggs start hatching. Will there be a late one? Well, we'll just have to wait and find out. But what else happens during the day? Well, not too much. She does grace us a lovely look at the eggs the odd time, and then also gets fed by Mork every so often. And I've actually noticed that Mork seems to be feeding Mindy more than Miley seems to be feeding his own young, which is quite unusual. So that's where I'm going to leave that today. Thank you all who have been subscribing and if you are enjoying the videos please subscribe and hit that like button as it helps my videos with the algorithm. So with that I'll leave it there. Thank you very much and we'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.